So here is a random video I wanted to make in the wake of a poll that came out a while ago that said independent women swung 32 points in favor of the GOP. Now, a small poll had less than 100 participants, I think, but still quite a shocking number. And I joke that the Democrats are going to learn quickly that they've been kicking themselves in the faces because if you push women to become the breadwinners, independent, you know, that whole shtick, you are going to make them more aware of their earnings and they will swing towards the party of fiscal competency, which naturally are the conservatives. It also happened a while ago. I think since August, white women swung something like 28 points in favor of the GOP, 12 to 16 point lead, if I'm not mistaken, which is a rather glaring oh hell for the Dems. It was mentioned on The View as well by that insufferable idiot Sonny who said, white women voting for the GOP is like roaches voting for raid. People hear stuff like that and think, you arrogant, condescending bint. You don't know me or my situation. Who the fuck do you think you are? What she actually said was white Republican women are going to vote Republican, which is the biggest no shit Sherlock moment ever. I'm going to assume she misspoke, but you know, let's face it, this is the view. This is not a lot known for saying anything that makes any sense. You know, I would not at all be surprised if it's stipulated in their contracts they get paid for every stupid thing they say. Because let's be brutally honest here for a moment, shall we? No sane thing is ever said on The View. The only time something sensible is said on The View is either by a guest or a rare moment one of the harpies decides to break rank and say something sane. Like a while ago when the one last said stimulus checks caused inflation, which is true. I was shocked because I remember I fell off my chair. Every time they go viral, it is because they said something incredibly stupid. I can't imagine that paints, if not Democrats, at the very least, women in a very bad light. We already have men who think women need to be seen and not heard because they're ditzy and dense and should shut the hell up more often. And then you see those harpies on The View, they can point to them and go, yeah, you see there, that's why. The irony is as well, is they can't say it out loud because women wouldn't shut up, which would actually prove their point. And the thing is as well, I know there are women who want men to tell those women to shut the hell up more often because it's more authoritative coming from a man. And they know if they try it, it's going to cause drama and they don't need that. I remember one of the first videos I did, I said women shouldn't vote. And bizarrely, the video was overwhelmingly positive coming from women who pretty much said, oh God, yes, we agree. We may be sane, but we know five women for every sane one of us. And oh my goodness, we are far too emotional. Let men take the reins. I remember one woman specifically said, give me a male boss because the female ones, that's far too much of a hassle. And the funny thing for me is as well, men who get derided if they say that kind of thing always get told off by some whiny ass feminist of, oh, you can't handle a strong independent woman. And if they happen to stumble across a woman who genuinely fits that, you know, the type that tends to have uh, male hobbies, you know, actually strong, no BSing type of attitude, men lose their mind over that kind of a woman. Carrie Lake, who's running for governor of Arizona, she is a great example. I have no problem admitting that woman is sexy as hell, merely because she mows down reporters like she's a Terminator with a minigun, which is always a treat to watch. As a side note, I joked with someone a, a while ago that men are like horses and women are the riders. You know, he's bigger, stronger, and faster than you. His job is to carry you and you need to ride him, as weird as that sounds out loud. But you know, women can often be smarter than men because, well, we do say and do dumb things. So your job, ladies, is to keep him on the straight and narrow. But you know, he also needs care and affection to be groomed and fed. And occasionally he needs to run around by himself in the field like an idiot. But if you keep riding him into the ground, eventually he's going to buck and kick you and say, I don't need this burn on my back and ball. We should use that analogy more often. But anyway, getting back to Mrs. Lake, because she is an interesting character in a sense. If you were to look at Hollywood's piss poor attempts at trying to write their girl boss characters, there was a really good comment I read this morning about the male archetype of the hero's journey of the boy becoming a man is one of challenge and overcoming obstacles. Whereas the female version of this, you can say is the heroine's journey. And theirs is merely womanhood, which is not a product of overcoming anything. It's a natural process of creation. It doesn't require any sort of effort, which explains the Mary Sue type plaguing the entertainment industry, if we can even call it that these days. But if you look at the characteristics that Hollywood writers claim the girl boss characters should have, Carrie Lake is a better embodiment of that than any garbage they've cranked out in years. It hasn't seemingly occurred to Hollywood for a long time now that you can write a female character that is tough without going God mode, you know, resistant, not proof, confident without the female brand of aggression, so stoic, not loud and bitchy. 
strong in a female way without resorting to physical force or violence. You can retain the core elements of a hero without resorting to merely impersonating the opposite sex, especially on that last part. I mean, why does strength have to be perpetuated exclusively through the male lens, especially in brute mode? Women constantly say they're smarter than men. Well, a smart damsel knows she's not going to tango toe-to-toe -to -toe with a man. That's not a wise move. She knows she'd be better off going rogue, not the warrior. Poisons and bows, stealth, not kicking the door down guns blazing. But I'll end this with a, uh, a funny trolling note with regards to the dem screaming like their dud ilk just caught their hair on fire. You can preach all of that independent strong woman, yas queen slay, we don't need a man stick all damn day. But if you're going to follow through with that to the end, then you ladies must also be small government libertarian types. If you don't need no man, then surely you don't need big daddy government either. No strong woman would ever in a million years support the welfare state or frankly any kind of government handout. No, no, no. That would be grossly offensive to you badass girl boss types, which goes to show you only a right-wing lass can ever truly call herself a feminist. And that is all for today. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.